Oh, is it going? Oh, it is. Alright. So, I'm. I started the Civ 6 game at the end of, uh. I think it was. Yeah, it's at the end of a Behind Closed Doors recording, but essentially, this one's a Pangea, so. Hopefully, it'll turn out a little bit different. Because what I'm saying is that I hope there's gonna be some war, but not early war. I'm not really a big fan of early war. It's not really my thing. Yeah. Why is this taking forever? Can I at least see the leader? I mean, that gives confirmation that it's at least loading. Jesus. If this doesn't load, then I don't really know what should. Guys, Civ 6 takes a short amount of time to get on the main menu screen, and then games take forever to load. Civ 5, it stops. It takes forever to get to the main menu, and then games load quick. I don't know why, but... There should be a reason for it. Well, actually, no, I might... I probably want early war with this Civ, but... Yeah, I've learned a bit about Rise and Fall, because I think my... No, I do know. The game of Rise and Fall I played was literally my first game of Rise and Fall. I had a bit of background knowledge on, like, the changes, but I never actually played, and I've, I think I've gotten better since then. In Civ 5, I, if I ever get better, it's, like, by a minute amount, because I just played so much of it. Not not a lot compared to some people, but for me, that is. Since I'm not, like, a streamer, someone who spends their whole time playing games. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm. I'm probably not gonna mess with this unique improvement. I'm. I'm not really a fan of unique improvements. I'll have to actually. I might see it just to see what it does. But I'm more of like farms, mines, no nonsense. I don't really care about gold. Maybe people can just be poor. Where's the Civilopedia? Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot this game was super laggy for some reason. Yeah, this isn't a good sign. Maybe it's just a Pangea. Can I not click this? Oh, I can. Plus, let's see. Plus one culture, plus two gold, plus two appeal. Plus one culture for each adjacent holy sign, theater square. Plus one gold for each adjacent commercial home and city center. Additional culture and tourism as you advance through a technology and civic street cannot be bones. No tundra, snow hills, tundra hills, adjacent next to another. So that actually might be decent since I'm going for a culture victory, but nah, I'm just gonna. So I figured it's actually, basically it's impossible to get a golden age. And basically, you either want to be dark aging because you get a strong dark age tenants or golden or heroic aging because you get three dedications so actually dark age in the first uh, era is actually not that bad of an idea I mean you cripple yourself a little early game but that's for like the eras they come and go pr fairly quickly or at least that on quick speed I assume if you're playing like a marathon game if you're playing quicker online speed but marathon games it might be a bit different so let's see I was almost got to move here and then move here, but I forgot Civ 6 movement's different. So we got a boost for our tree, something that I'm probably not going to research for a while. I usually research our tree after I get all the tile uh, text. Let's see, is that going to grow a size 3? One more turn. Let's move here. Yeah, a bit of, quite a bit of lag. So that's a new continent if I do lenses. Alright, yeah. Wait, what the? Oh, so there are three continents. So my starting continent is technically Zealandia. The keys here. And then South America. So, God, that's... I might want to get the tenants for, uh... Or the... What are these called? The... The cards for... Uh... Various... For... Boosts on other continents. It might actually be useful, finally. It's, it almost never really is. Yeah, I'm I'm still I'm not a bit I'm not used to Civ Six movement, so I sometimes have to have to look before I move. Just to see where exactly it's going. Let's get the lens out here. Don't need that anymore. Let's see, next is gonna be irrigation. Let's see, oh I can apparently 
something straight here. Oh Jesus, that's not good. I might have to restart the game if it if this continues. Cause this the thing is this happens, but not to this extent. Especially early game. Like this shouldn't be happening that much early game. Maybe it's just that nope, this is also bugging out. So I'll have to see. Yeah, I'm not liking where this is going. All this. Yeah, this is why. I'll be back. Oh, I never actually paused it. I paused the timer. My bad. All right, now, here's the thing. I've only r ever really had problems with Civ 6 crashing when I played in the wrong resolution. And by that, I mean that this Mac and what I'm currently recording is 1980 by, or 1920 by 1080. And this, I've never had a problem with. So, we obviously know like a bit about uh, the game. I should have probably checked to see if it never was. No, I auto save after every 10 turns and we didn't hit turn 10 by then. So we're just, I don't, I don't know. If this happens again, I might not. This is why I stopped doing Civ 6 originally because the game kept crashing. And then I only did Civ 5. I have thought with Rise and Fall it would be fixed, but maybe not. Because I know it, I'm pretty sure it has to deal with the Mac and not Civ itself, but, or the computer I'm playing on. But you never know. So, Civ 5 records perfectly, so. I mean, it, right now it's already looking a bit better. I'm just taking the movements very gently. I'm not like jerking around the screen or whatever. It's not really. That wouldn't help at all. Yeah. Spices are a fucking amazing tile to get early on. Four food, sometimes two production, or three. It's four food, one production, or three food, two production. Just an amazing tile. All right, now this is where... So I can go here, up here. Sir, why not? So, all right, so right now it's already doing better. That's good. Maybe you just need a bit of a reload. Irrigation. I think it literally crashed after I moved like right here. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. Is this a hill? This looks like a hill. No, this is a hill. Alright, there's a scout. You don't want that to see our cap. So that'd be bad news. Is this a lake? Yeah, this is a lake. Might want to settle on it. Here wouldn't be that bad of a settle. Gives me stone, two cattle two unique luxuries and a horses <coughs> ah but yeah I've, so I've already pretty much said everything I want to that's part that's pretty much why I didn't cut it out because I didn't really that was quick I I have, I have no clue what I did there but that's that if anything that's probably going to break the game whatever I just did with that I just Maybe, oh, here's the thing. So that's clearly America, and uh, it, on Emperor Difficulty, this is uh, part of the reason I don't, like, this is part of the reason why Civ 5 Deity is a huge jump. The AI start with another settler. They start with two settlers. On Civ 5 Immortal, they start with one, and on uh, just on Emperor, they start with two. And now that's America. Yeah, Los Angeles. That's their... Second expand, I'm pretty sure. Oh, can I move here? Yeah, I can. Also, scouts in this game, you can they can get really good if you get uh, no movement or no terrain penalties. If you can get both promotions on a scout, your scouts can have insane movement. You don't want to meet America. There is America. Teddy R, one of my favorite presidents. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, just exploring. There's Granada, city state. I have uh, so right now it's still it's looking like I'm gonna settle on this hill because it also gives me a rice. 
and then and then a fish. So see a real reason not to, but I'll I'll still scout a bit just to see. I'm not really gonna sell past there. Your scouting should mainly be for like your first settle. So I guess I can go here. All oh, that because that gave me no extra vision. All right, but yeah, you're. You're pretty much scouting for your first settle. Let's see. Sure. Freshly baked apple pies. One of my favorite American things. And yeah, this is obviously short of Mendes, but we're gonna solve that in just a couple turns. Let's see. Let's move there. So now pretty much decided it. We can Oh, there actually are no other uh, three futiles, so we'll just work that. Get a settler in six, pop it down right there. And lakes count as fresh water, so that's still that's good. Unfortunately, depending on where their capital is, I might have to war them early. Also, I'm pretty sure the thing is, I would settle down this river, but I'm a bit worried about loyalty because since obviously they they get their second city out early. Is this coast or a lake? No, it's that's a lake. Seems a bit weird, but Civ Six terrain is weird. Let's see. Oh, uh, that wheat's just one out of range. For both my cities actually. So irrigation, animal husbandry next. God, I would sell this river, but there's like nothing here. I might just like Renata take those the marble. See. Yeah, I'm still gonna. Is that actually a lake? I mean, it has to be. It's Carthage. All right, yeah, that is a lake. Frozen northern tundra lake. So that should solve our many problems. But we're gonna get the settler before we grow anyway. So. All right, so yeah, there's the capital. So I can't really settle down this river. I was thinking of settling like right here, because I would get a bit more. No, I'm, I'm looks like I'm pretty much gonna settle on that hill. Plains hills are actually the best to sell on because if you settle on a normal hill, you get two one. But plains hills are different; you get two two for whatever reason. So if that's a game's two hundred fifty. All right, he already doesn't like me. Not surprising, but I'm keeping the peace on his home continent. I don't know why he dislikes me. Looks like the agenda's not working out in my favor. Let's see. Apparently I can move over a hill. It's cool. Is this coast? No, it's like why are there lakes everywhere? I don't really know. Let's see. So I'm pretty much going to settle on this grassland hill. I don't really see a reason. I would give up a tobacco, but he's gonna get it with his city anyway. Or maybe not. I don't know where he's planted. But if I if I plant a city like right here, it's probably gonna have loyalty issues so loyalty is a good mechanic but it really screws you and I think this harm I think this helps the AI well I shouldn't really be saying this because this is my second game of rise and fall but also I want to purchase a slinger to escort my settler and for basic defense I'm much more keen on purchasing units in this game than uh than Civ 5 because early barbs can be much more of a problem if you don't deal with them, so it just makes sense to have basic defense staying around. I might settle on this river. Because there doesn't like to be a sieve anywhere near. Can I see his cap? There, there's Washington. Alright. So we're gonna we said we'll settle here. I think that's still the best choice. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, see if, well, if it's all, I actually won't get any loyalty issues, but this it would be fucked if he attacked it. Just all flat lands are on it. There's a, a bit of a river system, but not enough to make that big a difference. Go for our next settler, because the city grew. This is, this is big city. Lots of food. Yeah, I'm probably going to settle on this river at some point. Probably just like here. Maybe, actually no, I'd want to settle, well, the city state's probably going to grab that, so. But just, 
Unlike this river system, it actually has some potential to become something. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a unit being built. If I improve this, both of the improving both of those gives me a production. So I'd rather go for the improvement that offers food. So I can Civ 5. Oh, apparently there's... Oh, that's because uh, this is close to Washington. I thought, like, there might be an R Civ there, but... No, it's just Washington. Yeah, this would give me a production. And a housing over just... Think of production, so... I'll take that. Also gives me a couple boosts. Next, I think, probably... Sailing, because I'm going to want to improve those. Alright, so... I'm going to... Keep scouting for more settles. Right now my settler looks like it's going to be going up here. Maybe I can... No, I already have a model. So there's no reason to like prioritize this a bunch. Hmm. That was really loud. But we're going to want to move here. Let's see. Uh, let's go here. A bit. I wonder what I'm gonna mean our sieve. I mean, oh, this thing might grow next turn, and it might grow to a production tile. So I might actually get the settler done one turn ahead of schedule. So I'm gonna buy a unit to escort it. I know buying is like a real, really bad. You sort of want to save your money in this game, but yeah, I want to save it for a. Also, we don't have our pantheon yet for whatever reason. It's taken forever. Also, there's a more efficient way to use Magnus, and that and that's what I actually really wanted to talk about, because like he's obviously the most powerful governor for his opening ability. But what you do is, I used him wrong. I just put him in and cut everything. What you want to do is, you want to put him in, put in one of these cards for bonus production. So like this one, well, my capital can't produce those, but this one, what you want to do is, you want to slap the policy in, then, and this is in a city with Magnus. So, like, you put Magnus in a city. You slap the posse and then you cut the force. So, this would give you plus 50% production towards uh, ancient and classical era anti cavalry and range units. Alright? So, and then this also uh, compiles with the boost from uh, Magnus's. What was his? I don't even know his starting ability. But this, this, uh, I can just, no, that's the wrong thing. Apparently I got a boost, or whatever. Groundbreaker. So this would be 150% production from that chop. So that would increase even more. And essentially you can do this with other ones, like 50% production award settlers. But, yeah, that's, so that's essentially the way you play Magnus, and also the yeah, city grew, so. It's good, let's... Yeah, this seems fine. I'd actually rather work that. Let's see. God, there's like... Th I haven't met anyone. So let's see. Yeah, I, would, I would actually wouldn't have loyalty issues if I put it here, but... Yeah, just... it's. I could put it here. But I would also miss the horses. But I could get the horses by settling the city here. But I'd also... I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm settling here. Don't want to settle too far. I also don't want to settle... Right, I could settle here, but I have a feeling these tiles will succumb to loyalty pressure soon. This one, I don't really think it will. But so this, this would get me a tobacco or a tea and a tobacco. Neither of which I have. But it's it's tough. No, I do have tea. I just don't have that tobacco. But yeah, so I'm gonna settle here. See, so yeah, see, this is even though this is set on a hill, it's it's only a two one. If you settle on a plains hill. Uh, it becomes a. Uh, see, we want builder first. Let's see. Once I get archery, I'll upgrade this guy. It's not too much to upgrade, at least. Let's see, let's reveal a bit of land. Let's see. There's a scout. So I'm I'm scouting too. I'm not gonna settle here, obviously. Oh, apparently. Uh, Apparently he recognizes this as his territory, so yeah, we're early war is inevitable. <laughs> like if he 
this is four tiles from my capital, and it's on the other side of a lake. So, I mean, he said, alright, so there's my pantheon, finally. That warrior can stay. Uh, can I go here? Alright, so yeah, I might, I'm probably going to settle up here. I think on this, tile's perfect. If I can, I might get the marble and horses, but I'm not going to actively, like, buy out to those, so. See, I also don't want to sell just a crap city here with, like, in flatland nothing. That's, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, there's a... What's... Oh, grew here, alright. Also, oh, did I assign that or not? No, for whatever... Oh, everything's locked, alright. Because I forgot I lost a pop. Let's move this scout. Oh, there's, like, some mountains up here. So what should we get for our... Pantheon. It's nothing. I could get stone quarries. I have two quarries, or stone circles, and I would get one more here, or well, two more potentially. And it's nothing outstanding. Are these reinforce? I could get reinforce adjacency bonus and place the holy site like right here. Out of three adjacent reinforce. Well, I'm not really going heavy religion. Is there a? What are the? These two, I always have to check. So which one is T? Do either of these have T? Alright, this one is T. Does it also include... It doesn't include oranges or spices. Alright, that's probably this one. This one includes spices and citrus. Yeah, so unfortunately that... They are pretty much opposite, so... Yeah, I think it is best to go stone circles in this situation. Two faith from quarries. Boost towards mysticism. Oh, we already have the boost for early empire. Let's see. Should I go settler? This looks to be close to me. Also, if, if there's no AI here, I'm going to settle this river system as well. I mean, so there's no real harm in going in our settler. Like in Civ 6, you can play wide. Like, I don't, I don't really intend on playing wide. I'm just playing tall. And, uh, this is a good tall city, and then this would also be a good tall city. They're they're a bit close. Yeah, the ancient era is already ended, and I'm at three, so I'm, so I'm probably gonna dark age this. It's very easy to dark age and heroic age the first one, but I mean, oh, there's some random barb blocking my way. Yeah, I don't really want to care about the tundra north. Let's see, is, is there anything? Is there just a Mountain range. Okay. I don't really care what's beyond America. Just like, how hard is it going to be? Alright, it actually might not be too. The pr only problem is river systems. So I won't have to deal with like hills at all. I can move on to these and then start bombarding. Alright, so he is a governor in here. Let's see, sailing. So that's going to be the luxury in this city soon. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, I'm still liking this tile. Uh, unfortunately. So, oh, I would gain, I would also have a rice. That's what it revealed. I was looking to see if I would gain anything, but that's it. Let's see. So this city grew. Yeah, this city is a good amount of food. I'm pretty much cutting it all down, though. Or at least I'm cutting the forests down. So that's going to be these three. This. This. So that's five chops I'll have. And then also I'll clear, I'm clearing all the marshes. Might cut down some of the rainforest that's not useful, but so sailing next should be archery. Yeah, I don't really wanna deal with those right now, so I'm gonna not see. Sometimes I I rarely I rarely play Civ Six on my own time. I'm it's pretty much always recording. I pre most of the hours I have were from originally playing Civ 6 without Rise and Fall, like, with all those hours was probably within, like, the first month of me getting Civ 6, so, Let's see, oh, there's, how did I not notice that? So, it looks like I am gonna make some sort of city there, just need to scout to see where the other, I found one tile, but I need to see where the other tiles are. Let's see, yeah, I don't really want to deal with the barbs, oh, I might be able to kill it, though. Yeah, it's a bit weak. And I also met the city state, Mahenjadaro. Oh, it's gonna kill. Oh well. Then 
I guess no harm in that. And right, now we can actually work a good tile. Let's see. I'm gonna actually yeah, so pretty much what would the best thing be? If I settle here, that gives me, I assume, most of the tiles of the pants now. But I have I have to do a bit of scouting. Should have scout I should have used this scout for that, but I wasn't really paying attention to Yeah, they killed it. So I'm just gonna heal. there. Yeah, we're settling on that hill. It's the best cell I can see on this river. Let's see. You pretty much always want fresh water, so that's why I'm looking at these rivers. Oh, is that coast? I don't know. To check. Let's see. Again, okay. Ian Settler next turn. Oh, we got a lot of... We double our grade per... our era score in like two turns. See, rumors American has declared war on Laventa. I have no. Where's Laventa? That's wait. Did we, did we meet them? No, we haven't. Like now we can switch off. I might want to get production towards settlers, but I also want some sort of production in my expands. So cities with a governor. Well, considering I have no governors yet, and there's another wonder. Should I? Nah, this this city will succumb to loyalty to Washington, so I can't get a city up there. Even though it's a bit far from his cap, it's still gonna have loyalty pressure from it. So yeah, that's why even if I sound like the river, yeah, that's I don't think that's gonna happen. So it's just crap tundra. Is this yeah, this is the coast. So is there no sieve to the left of me? Because if not, then that leaves me a ton of room to expand. Also, I can't sell just yet. But yeah, if there is if there is no sieve to the left of me, that just leaves me, like, tons of room. Alright, so there's an auto tile of the pants now. Um, I should probably get a, consider getting a scout. So I can explore to find out. Well, how much turns? Oh, it'd take one turn. Alright, so. Because I, mean, I also, I want to see if... Because I'm... I thought I would be pretty... <laughs> Thought I'd be pretty low on settles this game, but if there's no sieve to left of me, then I'm gonna go all out, so. So, yeah. Because then I could start putting cities like here and not have to worry about them getting attacked. Yeah, so I am gonna get a scout. I think that's the best choice. Got archery. Also, I should be able to. It's the same turn. I'm taking way too long on these turns. I go faster. And so, yeah, so yeah, these. This isn't a, this isn't a thing, so we're not gonna. Literally, if I settle on any tile that's minus twenty, it rebel in five turns. So, or maybe six if I do something to get one loyalty in it. So let's see. The next option should probably be astrology. Governor appointment. That's gonna be Magnus. Appoint Posargade. However, I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, I, can I do these, or did I confirm them already? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So next I'm going to have to do like anti-cavalry in range. So that's like an archer. Oh, it's also going to take five turns for him to get there anyway. So completely forgot about that. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure what say state, how say states expand their borders. So in Civ 5, they would have already had these towns. But I don't know. Civ 6 is a bit weird. All right, so... Oh, how how do I? Oh, I'm. It's because I'm on the settler. That's why I was a bit confused. Alpine training. Let's grab that. It's an American scout. Can I cross the river? Unfortunately, not. Moving here does absolutely nothing for me. Let's see. Yeah, I know I want to settle the. I can't settle on top of it, but I need it. That actually. <laughs> why is the settler so much vision? I want. I want to settle on this river, pretty much. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so now I, all of this scout go down while my I just go straight up there. I think here, well, if I sell here, one, uh, I might want to, what I might have to do is settle off the river and then build an aqueduct on. But still, it might be worth settling on the river more so than actually the wonder. Because it's two food, two culture. I mean, that's not a lot, but 
I just like selling natural wonders just because they're pretty much limited, so. Well, pretty much, I say that, like, they, they are limited. There's only a certain amount of them, so. Let's see. We want to work three food. Get our builder. We can move here and then promote. Same turn. And I don't, I don't see any barbarians here, so. Yeah, I'm not going to sell down here. Oh, he sold this anyway, so yeah, it's fine. My say should still be full loyalty, yeah. That's, that's, I was thinking of settling here, but that would, just the tobacco that, I could always trade for it. Also, I might find some west, but. Let's see, so, hanging irons increases growth, plus two housing. Not, that's not really that good. Four top. Yeah, I'm rather just, let's see. I'd rather just get another scout. I can send this scout south. Because right now, I'm not sure how many more cities I'm going to sell. Because depending on whether there's an AI left of me, that will determine how many cities I settle this way. If there's not, then I'm going to fucking go ham. But if there is, then I have to be reasonable. I don't want, I want to, you can't open up, you don't want to open up like multiple fronts. Like that's the worst thing you can do. You want to just take it slow, one front at a time. Uh, all of this is going to be rough terrain. Where's that city state? Here. All right. Also, where where did I find that? Right there. City states don't grab those, right? All right. Yeah, I don't think so. We can use this to take down that encampment. Let's move here. Let's see. Also, the city grew. And get a builder in four turns will improve both luxuries. Everything will be good. It's gonna take seven turns for whatever reason. Five turns. So we'll start in five turns. Are any of these actually? So in five turns we will swap the policy in for uh, production towards ranged. We'll cut a force. Well, I'll have to get a builder before then. So now that I have a scout. I guess I can start getting monuments and granary. Well, should have probably done that already before scout, but I want it. I just it doesn't. I'm I'm getting a decent amount of gold. Might as well get them while I can. Let's see. It's gonna be a monument. Yeah. How does this have? Oh, it's because they can't move here. Let's see, that's still the hockey, right? Yeah, it is. All right. So here's because I have alpine training. Can you just go this way. You scout a bit above. Maybe find some tribal villages or tribal huts in the tundra north. I'm not sure whether they still spawn there anymore. I know in Civ 5 you can find like huts in like snow. Well, if they did, America probably got them, so that's why. But let's see, I'm gonna do all my scouting moves first. Yes, yeah, there is there an AI? There has to be an AI here. I put the sea level on low, but like there has to there has to be an AI here. There's not this much space. Can I get a, can, I can get a city here. I can get two cities. A city here wouldn't be too bad. I would just have to get an aqueduct, because this technically isn't on the river, unfortunately. But it's the furthest away I can sell from Kumasi. And then I can go here. Alright, so there's a scout. Ours ranged attack. However, we should kill that scout before it gets away, so. Let's see, what's... I don't think there was, oh, there's a lot more land than I apparently thought. I thought it was just going to end and go straight on the coast. <coughs> Here, let's get a bronze work into fuel iron. That's logical. Let's see. I'll, how many, I, I'll probably want to put two encampments on the front with America. I don't think he'll ever be smart enough to attack above uh, Hagman Tana, Hagmatana. So I think I can just put him like right here. But you, it's it's you can never be too safe. Encampments are. Don't take them for granted. I just didn't build any last game because I had no visible fronts. They were all sea, so or no land fronts. Yeah, sea states still for whatever reason haven't expanded a single tile. So I don't know what that is about. There's a trial village. Is there no AI? There's no AI back here. I might have a very easy game. I mean, I mean, after let's see. I'm gonna have to get 
Oh, I get it in one turn. So I can time this. Oh, I get Builder in two. Oops. Apparently my tech has gone up a significant amount since last time. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to chop a settler. I'm going to get a Builder. Where's the nearest chop? I can move here one turn chop. So let's... I can move here, move here. Stay. Yeah, there's nothing really. You pretty much want to be settling on rivers. Or at least, like, you can settle coast, but it's only plus one housing. You either, you either want to settle on rivers or somewhere where you can hook up an aqueduct, pretty much. That's pretty much the best options you have, you've got. So, let's see. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to want to do 100% production towards... Uh, ancient and classical. Oh no, I forgot because this doesn't work because we don't have coastal city. So we're gonna want to put in 50% production towards ancient and classical era melee and to cavalry and range units. Let's grab this. Is there no AI here? All right, also, there's is that in our lake. Yeah, there's a gypsum which we'll get. Let's see, yeah, I, I'm definitely putting a say here. There's so much crap here. There's, we got two cattle, we got a rice, we got a horses, tea, some tiles of the Pantanal, more cattle, two stone, and then if we put our city here, you know what, fuck the Pantanal, I want the river, so, we're and also the hill, so I think that's what we're going to do. Or maybe here, because it's a bit, no, it's about equidistant from us, I can say, I'll, I'll wait till next turn anyway, because I'll just, I'll scout out a bit more with my, Slinger. Also, apparently, I can get. Uh, I'm gonna save that for when I need heals. Also, this says I should probably rework this. Rework this. For maximum efficiency. Work that. Governor title. So, what is this? Plus 20 growth in the city. Your trade routes ending here provide. But I wanna send trade routes from my capital. So, this isn't really that good. 20% uh, towards industrial zone says. Can I get this immediately? Because this might. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably build be building a lot more settlers. So. This this might be a good idea. Provision. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I'm I'm going with that. I'm going with that. It's not a bad idea because I'm gonna chop settlers pretty much. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Is if there? Because I don't think there's an AI to the left of me. Also. I uh, show yourself for the pros. Nah, there's still no river. I'll I'll decide. Cause I also don't want to like. Yeah, there's nothing up here. The American Scout already got everything, so. Oh well. But yeah, so there's I don't think there's a, an AI to the left of me. So I'm all these lands are mine for the taking. I'm pretty sure. Also, apparently, what is oh that's the Dark Age. Also, I might have issues with loyalty in this thing, because I think Dark Age does stuff with that, but... Oh, there's a... I'm like, how much is it to cost to purchase an archer? There's quite a few bars here. Uh, but I, I should get that soon, the um, the money to purchase that, so... Should really be a top priority. I hate how... One thing I hate is how the uh, screen changes. Yeah, there's, there's tribal villagers everywhere. If there's no AI here, then I'm in the good... Let's see, so now that we have our builder, we're gonna want to move here. I can do something for one turn before I get a settler. Can I do anything in one turn? I can I might as well get an our builder out. It doesn't hurt. Oh, Dark Age. Who oh I can only see. Oh, Teddy Roosevelt ironed a normal age. Alright. Game one air score each time you trigger Eureka. Construct a new specialty district. Well, I have zero specialty districts, so I mean, this is probably a good idea. For when you, well, I'm not going to get religion. This is pretty useless. I might go for monumentality because I have literally zero specialty districts at this point. But I'm not sure how many I'll be building soon. That's the thing. So I'm going to have to. It's Barb Campus or screw up. All right, I'm going to scout and see. All right, so what do I gain from settling? You know, I think I'm going to sell here. You know why? Or I might even sell here. Because if I sell here, you know what? Is, does anyone, is any city gain this wheat? No. 
So this say gets all tiles of the pants now. This say will get these two. If I move this say up here, I get these two and fresh water. So yeah, I think I'm going to end up settling here. It's a bit close to my second city, but or I could settle further up the river, like right here and just completely give up the pants now, but nah, I want the pants now. So yeah, settling here is that's minimum distance away. So yeah, I don't think I'm settling here. Unfortunately, it's going to overlap a bit with Susa, but you got to give some to take some. All right, so we're going to want to get that soon. Yeah, f this is, like, I've literally had never had this much space in a game before if there's no AI to the left of me. Usually, it's always get squished between two AI because Emperor AI start with settlers, but I might just have the entire west to myself. Let's see. I don't think a spearman can one-shot my archer, but we'll see. Let's see. Yeah, neither of these states have still expanded yet, granted. Neither is this, but... Let's grab this. Some faith. Oh, there's also more city states here. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about this. Can I get this in one turn? I can. So, doesn't hurt. It's just 20 gold. It's not that bad. Let's see. So now, here's the thing. So I have bonus towards range units, which I can already finish in two turns. So let's see. If I chop this, I get 38, which should be doubled from Magnus, which should also be plus 50% from uh, production towards ranged units. So that instantly finished it. Is it. How much overflow do I have? Oh, I might fuck this up. I don't really know. I, I might need the cue to actually see it, but... Let's see. Because maybe how it works is... I don't, I don't even... I don't know. But, hey, I got an archer, so I'm going to send it up here to deal with the barbs. But, yeah, I might have fucked that up. But I thought I did it right. Maybe it's only for buildings. It might be only for buildings, because you can't instantly chop a building. Or at least I don't think you can. But I might be wrong. I'll have to... I'm still new to this game, so... So, might as well chop out everything else just because I'm going to want to chop out this one. Most definitely because it's on a flat land. I'm not going to remove this. I also want to chop this out. So, might as well get our settler. Change. And then also because we have the provisions, our settlers won't consume a pot. Also, choose production. Next one should be masonry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell here. Or maybe I can settle up here. That's the thing. And just, you know, I might settle up here and give up the Pantanal. Because, I mean, it's not that good a wonder. It's tough. Tough decisions. But yeah, I think I will settle up here instead. It's, I mean, just what? I'm, that might be a bit... Let's see... Let's grab that. I'm granted a builder unit, RK, so it's a lot of builders. I could buy our turn here, but I think I'm good now. Let's see. We can improve this. Masonry, let's boost for that. Also, we get our two faith. Let's see. Let's see. Continue scouting the north even though there's nothing there. Alright, next turn. Sounds good. So yeah, I might have I might have fucked that up. It's quite possible. What I can do is when I try to chop next time, because I can yeah, I'm pretty sure I put in the policy, so. Alright, so yeah, I that actually did absolutely nothing. So let's kill that. Let's move here. Gonna mine. It's also gonna, gonna be two. Two faith. Never hurts. Let's grip. Let's move up here. Yeah, there's literally nothing up there. Let's see, where's this go? Meet the city state. It's it's there's still more land, so I think yeah, I think, and also if I settle here, oh no, I missed this by one, but it's it's unfortunate, but I don't want to move here because if I move here, I give up. I give up the uh, wheat. 
and also quite a few river tiles and the citrus so let's see yeah this is still the best tile so let's settle let's see let's work this spices are a great tile to work build our nine we can just move here. Make sure no barbs, no surprise barbs. All right, so this I'm not gonna build my unique building because it's it seems pretty crap. So it just doesn't seem really seem like there's a point to it. Let's see. Now that we got that, we can start getting monuments. I'm gonna at least I want to get monuments and granaries before I start building my districts. Just makes makes more sense. If I settled here, I also, I also wouldn't have gained a single Pantanal tile that already isn't... Well, I wouldn't have gained any, but I would have... These two are the ones that I'm not working, so... Oh, there's actually a lot of barbs there, but... Let's see, so now I can uh, do a uh, different government, Classical Republic, obviously. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to take any of these so far. Yeah, none of these, I'm not taking any. I'm not taking any of them. Let's see, I could also go 50% for extra ward settlers because I'm going to get a lot more. The Goge, I'm going to keep that in just to try it once more. Um, let's see, next has to be plus two influence points. Yeah, that seems about right. That gave me a bit of error score. Yeah, and it uh, was that literally, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's the same one. Oh no, that's... It's actually a different one, sorry. So let's move here. Shoot. Shoot. Can we move in the water? Nope. Not in one turn. At least. Also, this is to the rice, so. I don't want to work that tile. Let's see, so. I can chop right now. Move for the chops. It's also seven. What's, what's, oh, housing, because I don't have a granary yet in this state, because I'm still building settlers. Let's see. I could chop first, so this will be 42. Maybe this is the actual production it's talking about, but. So here's the thing. What I was anticipating was 61 out of 85, all right? So this will finish the settlers, silly, but here's the thing. The archer, oh, it's because it's 60 production. <laughs> that's, that's why. So I actually did. I got the full amount because it said it would chop for like 30. I don't know what the math was, but it said it would chop for like less than 60. So I guess, I don't know. It's price. It would have been better if I had slingers or something. Or if my capital had more production, I like grow a bit more. But so right now, or at least in the early game, it seems inefficient to do the, to, to do it this way. Because archers, I guess anti-cav. Spearman, oh, that's 65. That's more so. Doesn't really make sense to, I guess. So we can just chop this. Get the settler. Settler going here. Leave the scout on that tile. Don't want barbs to spawn. Yeah, this. Once again, aqueduct. This A will be rolling. See, that seems about fine. See, oh, there's a CC unit there. What else? There's a tribal village. I'm going to look at our settles here. I could settle here. That would give me quite a bit of... That would give me tobacco, which I still don't have yet. And then uh, two marble, which I also don't have marble yet. Well, no, I actually do, because I had one in this city, yeah. I was thinking of this marble, but... So I could settle here. It would also give me a uh, cattle. Yeah, settling here seems like not bad of an idea. I'm just going to be on settler production in my capital for now. And yeah, the overflow is helping. So that next one's three turns, and then I'll chop that. Masonry, so probably writing. Let's see, political philosophy. Next is going to be, I just think, straight to Merchant Republic. Let's see. Don't want to fight. Oh, apparently there's a scout there. So let's just move, see what else is here. Yeah, there's, oh, this is a fresh war tile. I could settle on this tile. This isn't too bad. It gives me what? T, two pearls, gypsum. Also potential for a Petra City. I could cut I could easily cut a Petra City. Or chop a Petra City, so I mean that's not too bad of an idea. I just need a bit of gears to help clear it. 
Yeah, I'm liking the idea. I'm gonna buy an archer here. Because these archers can just take care of this. But yeah, I think that's the best option. So I'm gonna have to send my slinger up there to make sure my settler doesn't get barbed. It's the last thing I want to happen. Especially with apparently this much of I have no clue what that was, but especially with apparently this much space, I wanna utilize it. Oh well like like these cities are good cities. There that's the thing. Alright, forty three that's a lot. So we're gonna Yeah, we're gonna wanna heal that. Let's see. It's gonna get zoned. City grew. Grew to the citrus. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we could sell here, but it'd be a bit cramped. I might put a city like right here or here. I'll have to see. Yeah, because I want that city. So let's cut that. It's an R settler. That's a bit of a what even is? Oh shoot, I fucked up. Because now I can't move back. Alright, so. <laughs> so if I go here, I'm gonna, yeah, might as well just go there. I'll move my slinger back. Scout's still here. What else is here? It's just more space. There has to be an AI somewhere. That's, that's what I'm saying. There, there can't be this much space. Also, let's see. So I could go for an R settler. I could chop out the settler immediately. I might want a. Uh, I might want to. No, I'll just get a mine on this hill. I'm gonna leave the rainforests though. It's a thing. I'm also. I want to chop that. So. I'm also gonna move this down. Can I attack that? Nope, I can't. I'm just gonna move here. Yeah, I can chop this. It's one turn for the next settler. Where am I gonna put this one? So I put my settler here. The next settler I can put like right here. It's not too bad. I might want to get the pearls though, so maybe here. Somewhere on this river. God, there's so much room. Apparently I can move here, I don't know why. Oh, Archer units available for promotion. Which one? No, that's not an Archer, that's a scout. But, let's see. Yeah, I just have settlers coming out of this city. Pretty much chopped, just... Okay, I have to see where Poland is. So Poland is fairly far down. There might be one more sieve, like, in the fog. And that, that also might change my uh, settling, but... There's... I I've, honestly have so much room. What the hell happened there? There's a lot of noise. Alright, so apparently he says down in housing, Susa. Yeah, it's, even though it's on the river, I don't have an aqueduct or granary up yet, so. Let's see. This will help with housing. Let's improve that. Make it actually a somewhat decent tile to work. We could work that production. I'd rather do that for this city. So this archer needs to heal. Archer. Yeah, this archer needs to heal. Move back and heal. But I still think two archers can beat that encampment. Apparently the scout ran off. Oh, there's a lot of units here. So yeah, settling here would also give me... Or settling here would give me a wheat. Settling here would give me two. So yeah, I am probably going to make a city down here. I'll have to see what... How's loyalty looking? Yeah, down here is perfectly fine. I'm not going to send my... Uh... Alright, so... Yeah, I'm gonna move here. Move here, I gotta cut that for food. I could build my unique improvement here. But I'll, I'd probably rather have a mine. I could send these to help improve other tiles in my empire. It's, it's not out of the, out of reasoning. So that's what, two? This is one more. So yeah, I'll probably send this this has one more too. So what I'll probably do is I'll actually probably send this guy here and move this guy onto that river town and cut that marsh. 
Yeah, I want to make sure there's no random crap there. It'll prevent me from settling. Let's see. So where was my next one going to be? Somewhere on this river. Ideally, I want the pearls, but I'll end up getting two pearls from settling down here. But that, still, that might not be enough for my whole empire. If I continue, continue settling this way. So we can move this guy. Let's see, move. See, so this settler. So again, one here. I might want to put it here. If I put it here, I would gain a citrus. What do I? I don't know. Off to oh, I've that's a bad idea. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna just have to do it here. Which I'll use my scout for that settler. Once I'm done. See, so this city. I guess we can slow down on the settlers for now. I don't think it'll, yeah, there's all of the rest of, this is woods, so I'm gonna wanna cut that. But yeah, this city needs a bit of housing, and it's gonna grow a bit more once I get the marsh, so. We got writing, next is currency probably. Do I, no, actually celestial navigation. There's some lakes I can put harbors in, so. But a complete, that's gonna be a monuments. Yeah, I'm going to have to see. There's Kabul. I probably won't want to sell past the city state line. I think that's a smart idea. I mean, loyalty will probably prevent me from doing so anyway, so. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, actually, anyway. Oh, there's. I don't have to. I don't care about this. Warrior. I don't even know why I'm doing this with him. Just for scouting purposes, I guess. Alright, apparently that archer's following me. Let's grab. Apparently it took a turn to move. Is this marsh? Yeah, it is. So am I, am I going to have to clear the marsh? Yeah, I want to move back. No, let's not do that. Let's cancel. Move back to the safety of the city. You can go here. This guy has one, so he's gonna go here. I'm pretty sure the city zones him, so I'm good anyway. So that's one more production or one more population. But he's it's working a pretty much useless tile, so one. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh well. All right, see. So yeah, let's get the settler here. This settler, I'm gonna wait till that scouts. I could probably move the scout now. How much is it to upgrade? Twenty. That's pretty cheap. Apparently, I took a turn. Is that forced? I don't know. But yeah, I'm getting a builder in that turn. So what I guess I'll do with these builders is just make farms. Pretty much, I think that's the best thing I can do now. So yeah, I'll just I'll make farms. I'm not gonna. Build that. Why? Why would I build that when I can build a farm? Why it gives me housing? Let's see. I'm actually, almost done. This settler is going up here. <coughs> so we're gonna go here. You want to upgrade that? Let's see. Archer, move there. Scout. We want us. We don't want to have it die. We want to help it take down the barb camp. Let's see. Oh, these two cities have a. <laughs> these two cities have a trade out or something. Or they have some sort of road, but actually I'm it's actually probably better to go wide for culture. So I guess I'm not really going I'm not really planting wide cities. I'm planting like tall cities. Like these cities are fairly tall oriented. The only reason this city was so close to my cap was because it's on the border between America and I, but this is a these cities are fairly tall cities. Like I opted out of settling this one here for the Pantanal versus this. I could have easily put a city here than in our city, like up here, but I want to be reasonable, so. Because I know I got a lot of settlers coming. I have three out already, but I'm going to end it there. It's been about an hour. Um, this game is going really well so far. I unfortunately fucked up the thing with Magnus a bit, but I don't, I don't really think I fucked it up. I just think the amount of production it took to build the ultra was, and the I think the overflow was less than what it would have been to just directly chop but the archer is being useful, so. 
yep, I'm, I'm going to end it there. Um, so, yep, I guess that's it for today. Tomorrow's going to be behind closed doors recording, and then Sunday will be a town. I already did my Civ 5 recording this week, so, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. So, yep, I guess that's it for today. Tomorrow it is, then.